So the first one, the fusion. So if you have a spinal surgery and you get a fusion and it doesn't take, you can still possibly be a candidate for a second surgery. Yes, yeah. And for the second one, it was the decompression. If you didn't take out enough the first time, then it's possible for a second surgery. You could take out more and yes. relieve whatever it is, the pain that you have. But the scarring is, is one that's, that's most concerning. The scarring is the one where dorsal column stimulation is the uh, fair-haired child of spine surgery. That's the one that works well, uh, particularly for that kind of situation. Uh, you know, if you have a fusion uh, and it doesn't grow together, before you just go do another surgery, uh, you need to decide why didn't they fuse? Was it because of smoking? You know, nicotine, believe it or not, prevents fractures from healing and prevents fusions from going together. I'm not trying to you know, make my patients be perfect people, but uh, that's something you can fix. You know, it's a fixable problem. Uh, so if they smoked after surgery, then you try to get them to stop because that will increase the success rate of another fusion. If they didn't fuse because uh, there are just some people that just seem to be, in my opinion, genetically predisposed to fusing. Uh, fusions are sort of funny. What you're really trying to do is get two bones to grow together that naturally don't want to. And the way we get things to grow together that naturally don't want to is we confuse the bone. What we really do is create an environment when the surgery where the bone thinks there's a fracture. And bones that think that there's a fracture always try to heal together. So when we do a fusion, what we do is we roughen the bone, we'll take out some disc, uh, put bone graft alongside it, and fake the bone out, so to speak, uh, into making it grow together as, a, as a one, one bone. That's really what a fusion is. So sometimes some of those things that were done or, or, uh, or happened after the surgery may affect that. So with fusions, yeah, there's always an option of another fusion. With a decompression, there, even if the decompression was carried to that point where we talked about the stability of the spine, well, I didn't want to take out any more because I'd make the spine unstable, you can still take out more, but typically the way you do that is you realize before the surgery that they need more decompression than usual. So to prevent the spine from becoming unstable, you're also going to have to fuse them as well. So fusions allow us spine surgeons the luxury of doing a more complete decompression in the instances where patients need it. Uh, the nerve scarring, uh, intraneural uh, scarring is, uh, those nerves are always painful. They, there just doesn't, you know, med medications, you can treat them with medication. It's not like uh, there aren't other choices besides another surgery.